Hello guys, welcome back to a vlog. We are in 2024. Firstly, I need to apologize for being so inconsistent posting on this channel, but I'm here. She's back. I have another haul for you, a luxury shoe haul because I've been investing in some really lovely shoes recently. Normally I'm a bad girl, but shoes has really been my thing recently and I've started shopping for my spring summer wardrobe and I wanted to share with you some of the pieces that I got so you can get them now before it's too late. December was the kind of like treat yourself month. Um, it's not going to be like that for the following few months. Rest assured. January, February, March. Oh, my light. Sorry about that technical issue. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, January, February, March is the months for saving, being sensible Sally. December comes round and... I don't know who I think I am, but I'm very happy with my purchase. So let me show you anyway. I'm not going to pretend like I haven't already opened them. I did already do an unboxing on another channel. So yeah, so very sorry about that. But the first pair, I get one of these. So these, I really needed a smart casual pair of flat shoes that weren't a trainer or a sandal for summer. Because that's all I really have. So I got, how beautiful, every time I get them out of the box, it just makes me smile because it reminds me like how beautiful they are. You probably would have seen these a thousand times in the very classic like calf leather. Usually they're in like the beige leather with the black toe cap. But for spring summer, they bought them out in denim. Now this is a lighter denim color. They also do have a darker denim color. But I thought for spring summer, I'm going to be wearing lighter denim, lighter colours. So I wanted the shoes to match the denim that I'd be wearing. And I just felt like the darker denim was a more like autumn winter vibes. And it's not really a shoe that I'd wear in autumn winter. So I went for the lighter colour denim. They feel super comfortable. I'm just obsessed with the denim and I love the Chanel wash in the denim fabric. They also have a tiny Chanel logo on the heel there, which I just think... It's the little details like that. I'm really excited to get some wear out of this. I even think it looks amazing with grey. I'm just wearing an all grey look today with some dark wash denim jeans. And I think that would look really nice together. So although they're more of like a summery spring shoe, I feel like you can slowly transition them into the new season. So I really love those. Now the next pair I got, I actually got for Christmas. I bought them before Christmas. Again, went shopping with my mum. And so this was my joint Christmas and birthday present. I am a December baby, so I'm smart about it though because people always say, do you only ever get one present because it's your birthday and Christmas? My birthday is two days after Christmas. So it's very, very close. And the answer is yes and no. If I get one present, it's because it's an expensive present. So I'm like, combine Christmas and birthday together and just get me the one thing that I really, really want rather than like small things that I'm like, yeah, I want, but I'm not like obsessed with. So that's usually how I play the Christmas birthday card. So I was a very, very lucky girl and treated to these beautiful loafers. I've already shown you guys my black quilted loafers and I love them. They did take me a while to break in, but now they are comfortable. So we're gonna have to go through the pain all over again with these. I feel like these do feel a little bit softer and the leather seems like a little bit thinner so I think it's going to give quicker than my black ones. Fingers crossed, I need to start wearing them around the house. But I love the blush pink and the white contrast on these. The colours are so feminine yet the style of the loafer is so masculine. I thought these would look great with floaty trousers, lovely in the summer with a dress. I'm actually really excited to style these. These are actually a really good transition piece as well. I think these will take me into the like later months of winter into spring, summer. Gold hardware on them. I love that they're not too shiny. They're a matte leather. I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, Chanel have these loafers and they come in black painting, brown painting, like a gorgeous chocolate brown painting. And I believe they have maybe like a light gray, almost white color. And they have Chanel um, written across the toe in gold hardware. And I love those loafers. 
you might have seen them on like Hailey Bieber, a lot of like the celebrities have them. I was looking at the chocolate brown, it was between the chocolate brown pair and this pair, but I just felt like the paint was a bit too shiny. So I really love that these are a matte leather. I think they look a lot more expensive. So they were the Chanel's. I need to go get the third purchase out of my wardrobe. This is my first ever Laurie Piana purchase and now I'm obsessed, which is very dangerous because they're very expensive. They're a very luxury price point, not far off um, Chanel price points. These are the Charms Walk Loafers. I got them in the beige suede. I had them in this beautiful rust suede and also in a navy, but I just thought this kind of color palette works in my wardrobe best. The fur is so soft. They're so luxurious. They are, they are the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned, ever which is dangerous because I literally want to wear them every day, yet I also want to preserve how beautiful they are and not overwear them. I'm going to show you the details up close. These little charms, it has the LP logo on that one and this one also says Laura Piana. You can see how soft the fur is and inside. Like they are just the most beautiful, elegant, classy shoe. What more can I say about these except I want them in every colour. I'm now dangerously obsessed with Laura Piana. They're ready to wear. They're ready to wear is so beautiful. I, I cannot afford the ready to wear. When I buy things like shoes and bags, it's a real treat. I don't just like go on a whim. I, okay, sometimes I go on a whim and I just buy things, but it's not like an everyday thing. Like I can't afford to have a ready-to-wear wardrobe from Laura Piana or Chanel. So I don't know if you can see, but I actually still have the tag on this Massimo jacket because I just did a huge haul from Massimo Duty and Cos and the Massimo stuff just arrived and I was trying it on um, with my Chanel shoes. So I haven't cut the tag off yet because I do love it. I just don't know if it's a little bit too oversized. I think I need a size down. I'll show you guys standing up in a bit. I'm gonna show you what else I got from Massimo. But also I had a delivery this morning from this shoe brand. They are called Fabulous. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the packaging it came in. It is so beautiful. Again, I have already opened them, sorry. I promise that you guys are my favorite people out of all of my platforms. And I neglect you the most. I don't do authentic unboxings on here, I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. So these shoes, they're all handmade in Spain and they're all made from sustainable fabric. So you can see the bottom of them. And this is the shoe. We all know that the cherry red burgundy color was the color of the season. And I really wanted something, either a shoe or a bag that I could incorporate this color into my wardrobe because I'm not big on, ooh, on wearing red. I would prefer it in an accessory. And I think these are perfect. I love that they're velvet. I love the slightly lighter piping color that they've gone for. They have these in so many different colors and styles. They're just a super cute like little dolly shoe. Again with gray, I think they just look great. I'm actually wearing the perfect outfit to showcase all of these shoes today. So I think that's all the shoes that I've purchased. I haven't bought any new bags. I would actually really like to get some bags that aren't obviously designer. I feel like all of my bags have like the Louis Vuitton monogram print or the Gucci print. They're just very obviously branded. So I think my next bag is gonna be something that's still designer and really beautifully made, but not like obvious logos all over it. Now I think I'm gonna show you some of the pieces that I ordered from Massimo Duty. It's actually only two jackets. I'm waiting for my COS order to arrive still. And what else do I want to show? I'm going to show you some of my favorite coats that I have at the moment for winter because I've invested in a lot of really beautiful coats as well this season. This is the first little jacket I got from Massimo. It's kind of like cardigan slash jacket. I'm going to show you it undone. This is a size small, so I think I could have gone for the extra small because I just think it's a little bit too oversized. It kind of reminds me of the Bass jackets, but a fraction of the price. We all know how much I love my black Bass jacket and I'm dying to buy it in the cream. I feel like that might be more of a summer investment. So yeah, I got this. I thought it was just a really nice throw on piece. And then I was kind of inspired by the Miu Miu um, Fall Winter 23 runway show. 
where they did a lot of layering and they did a lot of layering with like walls and greys, bomber jackets. I've got a hoodie arriving from Cos, like a grey hoodie that I want to wear underneath this jacket. But the whole idea was kind of layering different textures, all of the same like colour palettes. So I'm wearing these dark wash denim jeans. These are from Cos and then I'm layering up with two jackets. So I do really like this bomber jacket. Do you guys remember that Zara bomber jacket that was grey that just went viral and it was like selling on eBay for like triple the price and everyone was going crazy for it. Similar vibes. Let me show you some of the other jackets that I've got recently. My bass jacket, which I showed you in my last haul video. Still such a good throw on piece that just kind of goes with everything in your wardrobe. When you're having a day you don't know what to wear, throw this on with a pair of jeans. Outfit complete. I got a cropped leather jacket. This is from Massimo. I also have this in a cream color that I was wearing a lot in spring and summer. It's just a really nice lightweight jacket. I love the cuffs on the sleeves. This is the Massimo jacket. I love to just like flip the collar up, pull the sleeves up, make it look a little bit undone, a little bit like cooler. Love wearing this with like a roll neck underneath. Super chic. This is another little leather also from Massimo. If you ever wonder where my jackets are from, it's generally from Massimo Duty because they just have the most affordable pieces and their tailoring and their designs are always spot on. This is a chocolate brown one. It's got shearling collar, which you can actually remove and underneath is just like a leather collar. Really love pairing this with some baggy jeans and a little roll neck underneath. Even some cream trousers, Laura Piana shoes. The final jacket that I got, a leather trench coat, obviously also from Massimo. This is like... It's kind of like a really dark, dark, ready brown. And I love that it's not black because it kind of gives a little softer feel to it. And it's kind of the perfect leather trench coat. I've been wearing this nonstop. When my COS order arrives, I'll also do a haul and show you what I got from there. So I've survived my first week of dry jan. The weekend was particularly hard, to say the least. It was very challenging. I think you guys can relate, especially if you're single. There's so many things going on in London and I have so many wonderful friends that I love hanging out with and doing things with. And a lot of that involves drinking. Don't get me wrong, we do a lot of wholesome things, we do a lot of walks, we all love going to the gym, we stay very active. But December was full of celebrations, so... I'm very proud of myself for surviving the first week and I feel like the first week is always the hardest. During the week, I'm more distracted with work and other things going on, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> but anyway, today is Monday and I've been to the gym. I've just got ready because I'm shooting some content with Amelia and then we have a meeting with the lovely PR girl, Millie from Sarah Chapman. So we're gonna go and meet and have lunch. I think we're going to Granger, which is always a good choice especially when we're trying to stay on the health bandwagon this month. I wanna show you what I'm wearing because it's actually Baltic outside and Amelia's just messaged me being like, it's snowing. I can't see the snow, but apparently it's snowing slash spitting rain, which is just lovely. So I've got my fluffy jacket out. This jacket is from Florence Bridge. I have it in black as well. I've had these, I've had the black one for years, like maybe six years. And last year I invested in this kind of like off-white color which I just think is just so gorgeous. Let me show you the full outfit in the mirror. Just got a black, uh, very basic jump on underneath to keep me warm with a Skims base layer. So I've got three layers on. And then I've just got my black wash jeans. These are from Cos. And then I've got my little Chanel loafers on. I was just filming a get ready with me for TikTok. That's why my ring light's out and it's looking a bit messy back there. Earrings, I've got these gold statement hoops on from Monica Veneda and hair. I said to myself this year that I need to stop spending so much time washing my hair. Where I go to the gym every day, I often have to wash my hair every day so that it looks good for work. Honestly guys, let me tell you something. This takes up like my whole entire morning and then by the time I've washed, dried, styled my hair, I'm exhausted. So I'm trying to get a little bit more comfortable with putting in some dry hair shampoo and doing a little updo like I've done today. I feel like my hair's my comfort blanket. Like I feel like the best version of myself when my hair is done. So I need to get over that. Because time is money, honeys, and we don't have time to be doing our hair every single day. So I'm gonna grab my bag. I'm taking my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and I'm gonna wear my Loewe 
sunglasses. I love these sunglasses, they're so cool. And I think we should go and knock on Amelia's door and see what she's doing because we gotta go. Well, 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 look who it is. Look who's holding the vlogging camera <laughs> this time round. With my partner in crime, Hello. we've just shot our outfits. My name's Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's Baltic. It's we snowing. are frozen, so we're gonna go and warm ourselves up and get a hot coffee, tea maybe. Hot toddy. <laughs> you can't. <What? laughs> you know what a hot toddy is? No, what's that? It's um, whiskey, whiskey, honey, cinnamon, um, and it's hot <laughs> and it's alcoholic that sounds yeah. really nice no we can't do that i've already told them i'm doing dry jan one week down three to go yeah we're in our favorite spot pavilion road <laughs> i love it. it's gonna be a lady of leisure for the rest of the day we've got lunch meeting yeah nice lunch meeting it is snowing it is okay now i do see the snow i see the snow <laughs> i see it i feel it <laughs> feel it in my bones <laughs> What did you get, Mills? That looks like a lot of coriander. <laughs> Your favourite. <laughs> it's salmon, it's trout with um, trout. Um, aubergine. Nice. I love aubergine. And Mills got the chopped chop salad with some chicken on the side. Very Lovely. nice. <laughs> and I got chicken <laughs> schnitzel. How are you? Show you if someone's addressing them. So I was like, let me just <laughs> elevate it a little bit. We've decided to come and have a little mooch in Soho home. My Sarah Chapman goodies. I just love everything in this shop. That table. Oh, and I have to show you these double marble tables. They're just beautiful. Look at this marble table. That is beautiful. Also love these. The bus, the bus, the bus. <laughs> Joking, Amelia. <laughs> Amelia just said, "Let's go to the bar." No, they've closed it off because it's dry, Jan. <laughs> As promised, my cos delivery has arrived, so I'm going to show you what I bought. I'm going out for lunch today. I'm having like a late lunch. So I'm hoping that there's also something in here that I can wear for lunch. I did order quite a few things. Remember that I ordered a lot of knitwear. What I've got is this really classic cream crew neck jumper. It's super soft. I do have quite a lot of knitwear. I have a few roll necks from Cos already. I have like a gray and like a chocolate brown one. But I do find it quite irritating sometimes having things around my neck. And this cashmere jumper, this is also from Cos. I always seem to gravitate towards this jumper because it's just so comfortable and it's really versatile. It goes with so many different things in my wardrobe. So this is a slightly more oversized, like chunky knit. I wanted to get this because I thought it would go really well with my Laura Piana mules. And also my Chanel loafers, maybe with a pair of like beige or cream colored trousers. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've actually wanted these trousers for so long, but they're cashmere, so they were quite expensive. I think these were £150. Some really comfortable, loose cashmere trousers. I actually wanted them to go with the crew neck that I'm wearing today, but I kind of feel like the colour difference is a little bit too much. I don't mind mixing tones, but now I feel like I need to buy... A matching grey jumper to go with this. Like I said, I do actually have a grey cashmere turtleneck from Cos, so I'm gonna try that on together for you and see if that works. But I just really wanted a pair of trousers that I could wear outside the house and still look put together and quite smart, but also really comfortable. I love that they have a little pocket on the back. I think that's just a really nice extra detail that they've included. Next is just a grey hoodie but it's not just like any grey hoodie it's this really lovely like knitted kind of like stretchy fabric 
I actually bought this to go underneath the grey wool bomber jacket that I bought from Massimo Duty that I showed you. I was going for a very Miu Miu inspired wardrobe this month. So lots of greys, lots of layering, hoodies, bomber jackets, knitwear. And again, I know it's just a grey hoodie, but it's like a luxurious grey hoodie. So even when I'm wearing this, I'm still going to feel like I've made an effort and I look like somewhat put together. What is this? <laughs> Oh, so, so these actually didn't come how I was expecting them to be. These are flared trousers, but they're actually like, I don't know if you can even see on the camera, but they're like a mesh material. I kind of thought that they were going to be a much thicker tailored trouser, whereas these are more like a holiday trouser. What really drew me to these were the big flare at the bottom. It really elongates my legs, it makes me look taller, slimmer. Next is some more knitwear i got another charcoal gray jumper this time it has a zip detail on the neck so it's like a funnel neck with a zip just another really lovely knitwear piece to put on that makes you look put together but you're comfortable this i'd wear with like washed black jeans or even like a lighter denim i even put this on with my cashmere trousers and i just really love the neck detail on this i like how you can have it up as like a funnel neck or you can fold it down and kind of have it as a bit more of a collar I've got another hoodie. So I've actually got the hoodie version of the jumper that I'm wearing now. This is the crew neck. Another charcoal grey cashmere hoodie. Clearly, <laughs> I don't know. The day that I ordered all of this stuff, I must have just been really craving like comfort and warmth. This is a slightly finer knit than the more like jersey knit hoodie and obviously different colours. I'm actually not sure why I ordered two i think maybe i was going to decide between them so i need to try them on and make a decision of which one i'm going to keep because i don't think we really need to do we but uh, then i've been on the hunt for some really beautiful black tailored trousers i actually got a pair from zara that were just perfection but after one wash they literally fell apart the hems fell down the inside seam at the waist was coming undone so i actually sent them back and I've been on the hunt for another pair since. So I thought let's try these ones from Cos because I love Cos's tailoring. I think they're really good quality pieces. They don't fall apart. They wear well. They wash well. I haven't shown you guys on this channel. But on my YouTube channel I showed you a white blazer that I bought from Cos. And the amazing thing about this blazer. You know when you want that relaxed look on a blazer. And you push the sleeves up. And they either don't stay. They keep rolling down. Or you do the hairband trick. Where you put a hairband around your arm. And then you lift it up and it stays in place. Not ideal, but it works. It's a really, really great trick. Well, Cos bought this blazer out and it has built-in elastic in the arms so that when you push the arm up, it stays. And it's just fantastic. It's like the best invention ever. And I've just noticed that on these trousers, they have an elastic band. So I'm one of those people, I'm always in between sizes. I'm in between an extra small and a small. And our weight fluctuates and you always want your trousers to fit you perfectly. So I really love when a brand incorporates little things like this into their designs because that's what keeps me returning back to a brand and investing a little bit more money on the perfect piece. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. This was like a little bit of like a January haul slash vlog. Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. I'm going to be trying to upload a little bit more regularly. We're here for the healthy Jan. I'm drinking my greens every day. I'm taking my vitamins. I'm doing dry Jan. If you want to come along the journey with me, let me know if you want me to film a little bit more. Days in the life. I want to see like makeup routines, hair care, body care. Guys, let me know. What do you want to see on my channel? I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.